but to not turn the corner just to play the contest is very, very, very real. And Millennium are going to be able to maintain their lead despite Epsilon's heavy presence on this bunker. Okay, so 20 points, 25 maybe at a push, but Jerd the first hit 20 and he's that aggressive SMG player, he has the line to strike, of course he doesn't have the pop on the radar though, because he did use that over on the rock hill. Contession comes in, and no one willing to challenge, I say that, as Jerd flings himself around the corner, doesn't pick up one as Reedy and Rated combine for the triple, and both of them on the half point. Yeah, 115 and growing then, alongside Epsilon, just 83. This is a gap that they could close in just one hill. I mean, this is truly a neck and neck game. Yeah. And now we're going to be seeing this constant assault rifle battle. It's kind of crazy to see just how many. It's, it's only Joe and Jerd who are really kind of innovating with the EVMP. Everyone else is sticking to their guns quite literally here with their assault rifles. Contest does come in and go. Jerd. I mean, excuse me, Joe takes down just the one with the TMP before he does get ripped to shreds and Millennium have managed to do something here quite special and actually cure a little bit of a lead from what is usually con heavily contested. Yeah and one help is from Jerd. Three kill streak, 24 and 15 at the moment. He's not even going for the spawns, he's wrapping straight around, straight in the, the, into the back there of Rated. As Joe does take down Tommy we can see here. He's gone straight through the middle and he's just on a tear now. Jerd extends this lead and he's now got a six kill streak behind him. Make it seven surely, yes. Lightning Strike and Hellstorm is available and 25 are away from the Wraith, I'm sure he knows that. But look at him, so fearless. If I was waiting for a Wraith, I'd be quivering he'd be, he'd be in a corner. by a sofa, is what you'd be doing, and that's exactly what he's going to do now. Is he does just pre-aim this one, he can't mess this up, and he doesn't, that's a Wraith. He can go down, he can die happy, but he won't, without taking down another. Goodbye, Reedy, and hello, Wraith. Is he going to pull that now, or will he save it until a rainy day? I'm thinking maybe the next hill even, you know, he might pull that out. It would be beneficial on that site, as well as the... Uh, the rock area, but for now he doesn't need anything. You know, they're opening their, their lead in 170 to 90 is going to be the score as the things start to rotate. Wraith has just been called in. Or is it a Wraith or a Sir? It's a Wraith, sorry, yes. Wraith. I was thinking it was the care package uh, dropper, but no. Wraith has been uh, called in and he's actually going to do wonders as Joe and Wraith. I want to flick on board to see have they got anything to take it down. Uh oh, yes they have. Black Cell, but he goes down. Has he gone down in time? Nope, it's not, going. still going. But Reedy will take that down, but Wraith it cost him. Goes down as well. I mean, th this is fantastic work from Millennium, and that, that Wraith has forced Epsilon to be focusing on that and supposed to the hills, enabling Millennium to extend their lead even further. They're going to reach 200 before e Epsilon even finds 100. And let's not forget that, you know, previously over at the EGL this last weekend, or this weekend, excuse me, we saw them uh, pick up the win on this very game mode. Epsilon won, beat Millennium on hardpoint. Mm. And it's not going to happen this time. No, and it's uh, it's going to be questionable. Um, it's definitely going to be questioned by the guys of Epsilon. They won't be happy. But I have to say, Millennium have turned up. They're a different team today. 35 and 18 for one special man. And it's this guy. He's on the hill. He's got streaks. He's on a two-kill streak. Everything is going right for him right now. Kinetic armor is unlocked. He's going to Hellstorm himself. He's going to get revenge for himself. He takes down Joe. And that's kind of the most, uh, well, the least efficient of trades. Using a Hellstorm for that one. Nice double nade. Wow, you don't see that every day yet. Reedy and Joe both fall. That's uh, something we saw Sunny B do earlier in Search and Destroy. More, much more impact in that round, but still. 230 and growing. Millennium are going to win this, and they're going to win this in style, winning this in a vast majority. I mean, this is mind buying, but they could actually put Epsilon into the 100 club. Yeah, they could. Very, very easily. And this has been a dominated showing. Let's not forget, only two days ago, Epsilon, this very map, this very mode, shut down. Millennium 250 to 120 in a difference of scores what we talking I mean too much to even calculate is my maths 154 154 thank you You're so good at maths Jerd 41 and 20 at 2 minutes and 10 on the clock 8 defends he got the most scored the most kills the least deaths the most time on the hill and god damn Tommy had to steal those defends by one I was one. wrong anyway were you? I just tried, but I failed. I was never going to try and do maths. A for effort, though, right? Yeah, I mean, good for me for having a go, you know? Even though I suck at maths, I'm still trying. Just Is like Pulse, <laughs> you know? I suck, but I keep on trying and turning up and giving it a go. It's one way of putting it. Yeah. yeah. But going into map number two, S&D, again, is this going to be just kind of like a kick in the teeth for Epsilon? Do Millennium secure their second spot? Do they, you know, say, yeah, you just beat us at an offline event, but we'll come here, we'll show you how it's done. Um, I don't think Epsilon will be too happy. But I, I do not think this is going to be three maps. I think this is going to be much more. And I think it's... S&D uh, is Epsilon, I think. I think you're right. And yeah. I think that you'd be a fool to look past Epsilon on a search and destroy. Um, I mean, it's their bread and butter.
So bread and butter from a wise man. Do you like bread and butter? I always think no. you need more. No. Need more on I hate on butter on anything. You don't like butter? Just butter on anything. Like, if you have a, a sandwich, if you have anything, like, don't put butter on it. So what would you say? What would be your expression? Like, bread and jam? Br just my bread and salad cream. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what sandwich. Why would you put salad cream on bread? It's called salad cream, not bread cream. You put salad, a meat, like ham or turkey. Right. And... You don't need like the the butter is like the the moistness of the sandwich. You don't yeah. need it when you got the old uh, oh, the SC. Disgusting. Absolutely not discussing Milan. Four one record. That's uh, interesting. The last loss was of course the versus Vitality. God, I remember casting that one. <laughs> that was a mind blower. Hey, that Vitality must like haunt them every single day. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that it happens like it, it happened in the Challenger as well, right? Yeah. Three, it, it's three, three times. times those two teams have met, and three times Vitality have won. In, in nine whole weeks, Millennium have never beat Vitality. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, they beat everyone else. Epsilon currently a 4 1 record themselves. Last loss to Millennium. You know, that says uh, a lot for themselves here. Uh, and, and again, you know, do Millennium do the double online? Do Epsilon do, you know, uh, the offline work? It's, I think it's, it's too hard to say because I know what Epsilon are saying. What they're saying is when we're in a LAN environment, when we're on the same connections, everything like that, then we will take them down. But they didn't. Well, they did. Ep but Epsilon did at the weekend. That's the thing. Right. But the, the past like three events, Millennium have won. Like you can't just focus on one event, if that makes sense. Right. I'm always a, a person, and I, I say this all the time: is history is history, but it's about how you're playing now. Like teams change; they they get better and worse. Uh, at the moment. If you ask me, like, overall, who's been the best team in CWL, I think Millennium and Infused. I don't think Epsilon. Right. But who's the best team right now? I think, literally, there's a, there's a line here which Infused, Millennium, and Epsilon all sit on. Like, I don't see anyone being better than anyone else at the moment. Like, it's just like a coin toss, you'd say, between them. I, I honestly think so, and I think the offline event, which I recently went to, were, you know, proved that. Epsilon beat Millennium last map. Infused beat Epsilon last map. It, it just it doesn't get any closer. And, um... It's uh, it, it's gonna be it's gonna make the season one finals, sorry, stage one finals even better. Um, you guys are probably saying it doesn't matter, Phil. Stage and season they sound similar. I know it does, but uh, just specifics that I would like to get right. But ban and protect is underway. Overkill, kinetic, flashbang, and active camo have been taken. Kinetic being taken is a bit of a surprising one for me, especially being on um, infection. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not sure about the choice, but. Okay, but I mean, taking it out does just kind of limit your options to a very predictable set of four. Um, we'll try and run through them. I mean, the fact that it's kinetic armor and not overdrive is very surprising, I think, is the point you're making. Like, that's just not something you see every day. Usually, it's going to be very standard and predictable, but no, here we are. Ban and Protect continues, and Thermal is taken away, trying to limit the power of those snipers. Madcat has picked it up, and as has Tommy in the past, and now the Rapid Fire and High Caliber do round out the roster. So, that, my friends, is the Ban and Protect. Very, very, very reminiscent of what we saw within the Infused matchup earlier on today. Yeah, and Thermal being taken away. You know, SVG is still available, but is anyone going to use it, like, with the Varric scope or anything different? You know, we have you, you kind of set snipers. I think at the moment, Millennium, no. Millennium aren't going to snipe. They're going to stick to what they know. Maybe. Overdrive, uh, yeah. glitch, heat wave, and active camo is taken away. So I guess it will probably have to be, like, Vision Pulse or something. Oh, Overdrive is still in. Yeah. Um, oh, over I was getting confused. Uh, overdrive, glitch. Okay, Overdrive and Glitch for either side there. So a weapon maybe for Heat Wave as well? Yeah, Heat Wave and then a weapon. Probably Tempest. If they want or to or Heat Wave and Vision Pulse, Pulse, yeah. yeah. There's, I mean, there's a lot to kind of go by, but... Uh, a lot of you guys getting in touch with Twitter as well with that hashtag CWLPS4. They're saying Millennium will win because of Jerd, simply Jerd and only Jerd. Another one here, Millennium will win. Swanee the Majestic Lion will roar. Madcat will have his akimbos, not sure. Um, and Jude and Tommy will lead. Okay, fair enough. You guys getting involved. You think it's going to a map 5 round 11 1v1 battle? Okay. And someone else thinks Pulse will win. That's a very, very interesting thought. But you can see what they're saying there. Irish Rebel with his comment saying Millennium because of simply Jared. Yeah. Okay. He's, uh, he's definitely been very, very, very strong. Was it 42 at the end of that? <laughs> yeah, it was double, but it was like 40 and 20, basically. Damn. But Millennium will take this 3-2, and we'll go to round 11-5. Um, 
and an S and D. CWLPS4 is the hashtag. Do get involved. Everything to do with Cod Worldly. We want to see that on um, on our Twitter feeds. Thank you very much, Travel Art Gaming, for getting involved with us. This is going all the way. Millennium to take it three two. I mean, you guys are favouring, you know, Millennium in the S and Ds here. It looks like, and I've got to disagree with you. I've got to think. You feeling? You feeling good about the uh, about the Epsilon boys? I am feeling very, very good about the Epsilon boys on S&D. They showed me what they could do, and uh, I can't help but feel that they are going to close uh, this S&D out. I mean, look at them. They're all green tick. They're ready. They want to play right here, right now. And uh, I'm sure they certainly will give it their best shot. I think, like, who has always been their playmaker in s and I mean, everyone, everyone on Epsilon. Right, I'm just thinking. Yeah, Bruce, with, with Epsilon, they've all been S and D kind of all stars in right. a way, um, and it's all really rated and Moose especially have kind of had it longer than. Uh, sorry, rated Joe and Moose have had longer, but with with the addition of Reedy, they just seem to work so well with it. Uh, of course, we'll uh, have to see how it all pans out. But of course, S and D for Millennium at the moment didn't go too well at the weekend to say the least. So they might be a little bit unconfident. Going into this one. Tommy though, Madcat, Swanee, and Jerd. Overdrive, Glitch, Vision, Pulse, and Heatwave. And hope Jerd is confident after his performance there. Just I mean, yeah, he's going to be riding a high, right? Yeah, I mean, he's just literally picked up Epsilon and stamped all over them. Like, and said, look, this is what I can do. It would be such a huge statement if, that, like, if actually Millennium 3 0 Epsilon at this point, like, they won an SD as well. <laughs> That's just one way to get a lot of angry tweets. It is, yeah. It, it's it's just a statement. And it's, you know, so many statements at this point are being made. And I just... The good thing is they, they go to an offline event, they have a win, they then have this, and they have more of a rivalry, and then they probably, more than likely, will have it all to prove again at the Stage 1 Finals. Which is awesome. I mean, I, lo I love the idea of... Uh, like just so much on the line between these two teams. I did just see Reedy rock, rock in the uh, SVG Varix. This is what the uh, this is what you force upon them, and that's an interesting cross set. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I don't like it. I Creep don't like it at all. Me out a lot, but uh, Joe does take down Madcat. I like that. Just, of course, it's Reedy. Oh my god, that's so freaky. Oh Reedy, just sending. Every the time nightmares. you aim in, you want to shoot. It's like there's someone. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> cool, mate. Look, at, look at his flank. This is nuts. And now he's got his, he's covering Moose's back, and this is one of those most aggressive things we've seen for Epsilon in a while. The bomb's going to be going down to Rated, and now oh, Reedy can watch the flank, watch Rated's backside. Joe's pushing right on through, and oh my god, that that covers up the line of sight. Is that like a troll or something? Like I don't like that. <laughs> Why oh don't you just god. have a plain red dot, and Why you, you done this? your line of sight is much clearer? No, because it's Reedy. It is honestly, it's just Reedy. It's, it's his Argus. It's his everything. He's a hipster. He's a cod hipster. <laughs> He likes to change things up. Yeah. But yeah, Millennium looking a little bit struggled here in round number one as Tommy does fall to rated literally there as the RK5 finishes him. And first round will go in favour of Epsilon. Will Reedy be stood up at his house going, it's my bread and butter. I know it. Mad cat, sit down. Definitely a lot of trash talking present in Call of Duty. Can't quite do the same amount online. It's not the same when they're not like just over the yeah. desk. It's not the same when you can't see the reactions when you just <laughs> dog on them. <laughs> Joe though picked up three that round. Will uh, Millennium be able to do the same? Is anyone sniping here? No. Four M8s. We're going for the infused roll. Oh, and straight away. Ooh, wow, nice two bursts from Joe just to eliminate Moose. And Madcat's done the same. I love this position because he's going to... Oh my god, they've just stomped all over them. This is one way to get back into the game and just immediately get a 1v1. Oh, excuse me. Four 1v1s if you want to try and win this one, Rudy. He's got one. He's not anticipating presence to his left though, and actually he's going to have a little bit of a problem catching the glimpse of one of the EMP will just connect. That's going to give him the intel, but he's surely going to get pushed here. This is where all you have to do as Millennium is group up. Don't you dare give him anything. Don't you dare play this as 1v1s. You push together as a team, and you work together as a team. Decide to pull apart the remaining player, they do so. 1-1 one, one is the score. Epsilon are going to be leveled out now thanks to Millennium, and a very, very quick start into yeah. that second round, that first attacking round from there shot from Madcat there, not only the first but the second there, just taking him off that head glitch of the, uh, the tank in the middle, and like you said I don't see this being a uh, three map series, I can see this going all the way at least to a, a, a map four, I don't see Epsilon going down without a fight, but they're on the attack again Clear the objective. no sniper for Reedy this time he's opting for the M8 and he's breaking from the pack here 
Oh, four man rushing mid. This is an interesting one. This is what I've been asking for. I've been saying this a while. That it's kind of a very viable strategy if you do take full control. No one is in that church window, which they're.